hello so today I'm going to help you calculate different time value of money questions uh, with the help of uh, Excel sheet since you know that Excel sheet has several formulas that help you uh, calculate based on different scenarios that you are facing so it is very efficient way of solving any time value of money questions that you might encounter in different finance books uh, kindly subscribe to my channel like my videos and please share it with others if you find them informative thank you so now we'll start with the calculations with the help of excel so i have placed some values over here as you can see that there are some values that are given over here i have just placed them for the sake of uh, helping you understand the questions. This is a basic example where the values are given. Present value is 1000. Future value after calculation was 1610.51. Number of pairs involved are 5. The interest rate is 10%. So we'll see if we have such a scenario where these values are there. So if we want to calculate each of these values one by one, how do we do that? So first of all, if we imagine that all of these other values are given and the present value is missing, so we write is equals to PV bracket open, then we go and click on the rate as indicated as the first value, then the N per is the number of periods, so we do that, and then after that payments, that is again given. So uh, this is the way you calculate, and uh, since there is a bracket on future value, so you do exactly like that. You write the minus value, and this is the portion where the NVT ordinary NVT and NVT due is being asked. So we consider it as ordinary NVT, and payments are at the end of the period. So we close the brackets, and we get 1000 for the present value. So the second formula would be future value. So then the future value is is equal to fp bracket open the first thing they are asking is the rate then the num the number of time periods so we keep selecting the values that they are asking it would be quite simple in that manner uh, to understand the process and to find out the correct answers so this is how the second value was calculated with the help of is equals to future value or the future value formula that has been uh, incorporated by excel and so now we calculate the number of pairs if the number of pairs are missing and all other values are given so how do we do that is is equals to n per rate payments then the present value then again a minus sign because future value is in bracket and then zero and this is how you get the number of pairs um, so it is a very effective way of calculating this different problems that you get uh, in your coursework or in your finance uh, books um, or either you have calculated them manually then on excel you can cross check whether your answers are correct or not so these formulas have been developed so they can save the time of everyone and they can give you accurate answers so for the rate we do in the similar manner is equals to rate packet open so they are asking for the number of uh, time periods first then it is payments then the present value then the future value in minus again and the type is going to be zero and uh, guessing is a value that you just assign from your own side and check whether it is going to be correct or not so this is how you calculate it and by now you have understood all of those four values that are missing in different problems or scenarios you can calculate them the last thing that I want to discuss is the payment. So normally what happens is if there is uh, a regular or fr frequent payments uh, or we call them NVTs that have a series of payments. So suppose there is a question related to NVT where there are uh, regular or frequent payments involved instead of one present value or one future value. So how do we calculate such questions? So we will take uh, the same scenario. Uh, and we'll say just let's suppose there is no present value there is no future value uh, there are just early payments that take place uh, after each year and the value is one thousand dollars so you are submitting or you are saving one thousand dollars at the end of each of the next five years so what will be the present value or 
for uh, such a case you are receiving this amount of money so how much you have to deposit today in order to get it so you calculate it in the same manner this time you find out the present value and just write the rate uh, then the number of time periods then the payments that you are receiving or going to receive and there is no future value so we write zero instead of that and then the ending inventory means whether the payments are occurring uh, at the end of the period that is ordinary and if it is at the beginning so we get an additional year in that case we call it annuity due so when you do that you have the present value of uh, 3790 so this is indicating that if you spend or save $3,790 in a bank account then you will be able to generate 1000 cash flows for the next 5 years so that is a total of 5000 like you receive more uh, based on your savings so these, this is one of way of calculating this uh, scenario uh, but let's suppose uh, if we are saving $1000 each for the next 5 years each of the years then how much future value are we going to get so similarly if we rate is 10% the number of time periods are 5 the payments are 1000 no present value and again ending uh, ordinary annuity so we click that we get 6150 105 and in that manner it shows that if you save $1000 at the end of each of the next 5 years that will be a total of $5000 but with the help of compounding, you are going to increase it to around $6,105. So it is an exciting way of calculating time value of money problems and scenarios. Hope it helped. Thank you.